Hello, my name is Sue Nem, and this afternoon I'm here with Professor Mario Vasquez. He's an author that participated in our Literary Feast of 2009, and he has a new book, The Color of My Paint. It's a gorgeous cover. Just looking at it makes me smile, and he's going to tell us a little bit about um, how this book came to be. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Um, the book is very short. It's only 10 uh, stories. It's about learning lessons during my uh, childhood and adolescence. And um, hopefully, it, I mean, it's targeted for young adults, but hopefully adults will also enjoy it. Wonderful. And how long did it take you to write this? To tell you the truth, um, I started 2005, and during the aftermath of uh, Katrina and Wilma, I had no electricity, uh, no food. So uh, it was back to basics. Um, that's why I, where I started to uh, write my experiences. And I experienced something similar when I was 13 during a hurricane, which is also in there. Um, it brought the family together. There was no you know, electronics, television, cable, cell phones. Uh, so it, it made me begin to write. Back to basics. Well, that's very interesting. And for some folks who maybe want to start learning how to become an author, what kind of advice would you give them? Well, this is nonfiction, so it's based on real life experiences, my own real life experiences, uh, that made a difference in my life. Um, I didn't want to be a teacher when I was young, but now I am, and I, I often find myself going back to those learning lessons, and I'm constantly reminding them the basics of you know not stealing, not lying, and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna write this down, and see where I started this, and you know, share it with my students. So it's really a process. Yes. Okay. Well, some authors experience uh, blocks, mental blocks in writing. Has this happened to you? And if it has, what did you do to get over that? Yes. Um, I think it happens a lot because today we're so distracted with um, responsibilities. Uh, so what do I do is uh, actually when I'm, I'm driving, I get inspired. And when I get home, I start writing everything down. Even in traffic when you're, you're waiting. Um, I also read a lot. So I get inspired by other authors. I watch movies, ride my bike, go to the beach, things that relax me because everyday distractions makes me, you know, block. Okay, very good. And so now that you've completed your book, what's next for you? Well, I'm working on the sequel, which I'm halfway there. So it's going to take a lot of, uh, another six months. But again, because of everyday responsibilities, um, I do get those blocks but I want to concentrate on the learning lessons and real life experiences. You know, I don't want to make, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to touch into fiction until maybe the third or fourth book, but as of now, I like nonfiction, but because it's, it's the truth and people can learn by your experiences. Well, you know, that's my job as a teacher that's right, that's <laughs> and professor. Great. Right. Great. And you said it's going to be a sequel. So where does your next book pick up? Can you give us that little bit of a, well, this, this book stops, uh, my decision after high school. And then I'm going to begin with before even how my parents met. You know, it was a learning lesson there because back when my parents, you know, were growing up, uh, you know, they would pick who would, you know, which family is better for, for who. And I learned from that. We don't do that today. But back, you know, in the 40s and 50s, um, I would hear my grandmother, say, well, they're from a nice family. They're not from a nice family. And so be careful. Um, that doesn't happen that much today. Well, in our culture. But um, so it's a learning lesson, you know. Wonderful. And one last question, because now that I'm looking at the book, sometimes one of the hardest things some authors have told me is picking the title of the book, The Color of My Paint. How did you come up with that? Well, The Color of My Paint, as it, it sounds uh, about me, but I, I don't want it to feel that it's about me, uh, although the experience is, is about me, but I want to share my learning ex experiences. And I looked it up and I did research and I, and I wrote like 15 titles and I started looking them up to make sure they're not taken. I don't want to, you know, copy up. Okay, so other, research any, is part of the so process. So research is okay. part of it. You can't um, copyright, there's copyright law, so you right. have to be careful. So maybe the next title is going to have something to do with the color of my paint, maybe blending my colors, um, because as an adult, you do experience other things that you don't as, an, as a child. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being Thank with us and telling us about his new book. I have my copy, so I get yours, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been great.